Hey everybody, what's up? Mike Gross here, rockinguitarlessons.com and um, I'm doing a demo today for you guys a review, so to speak, of Lizard Grips Premium Grips for Ultimate Pick Control These are cool. These are very cool. I'm going to explain a little bit about them, what they are and I have a promo code, code for you guys uh, for 20% off, but you got to order them through www.lizardgrips dot com to get that twenty percent discount what I've done I haven't put any on uh, my other picks I grabbed like an assortment of, of picks um, a lot of you guys know I'm I'm a big fan of having gription you know I've used the uh, the Dunlop picks 88 millimeters for years gosh I, I mean decades and I've played tons of picks and you know the longer you play the more you you know you'll check out other things but you end up having your favorite or your favorites you know a couple um, but I'm a big fan because I don't like when now they sent me the company sent me in this bag here I got three bags um, these ones already have picks with the lizard grip on it it's already been put on it just a regular pick it's a, a few different sizes probably a light medium and he heavy Yep, pretty much is. The green is the heavier one. And you can take a look at that. Let's put this guy over here. Right there. That's more of the thin. And then this one here. And I don't know how well you can see that, but um, I'm going to show you something in these packages here. This is what they look like when they come in. Now, there's two different styles here. If you look at the circ circular things, those are the little gription things. They're sticky. They, they're not sticky like super glue, but they're, uh, your thumb and your finger kind of stick to it when you're holding it. I love them. Straight up, I love them. Um, just by playing with the ones that, uh, you know, if you have those little cheap picks that you can't stand, now you can put them to use. Uh, you can probably see the difference here. This one, they're bigger, so it'd be for a bigger pick, which I have a triangle pick. I'm going to try that on. And then these ones are smaller. You know, you, some people like the, the little small picks. So um, that's, I really think it's a brilliant, brilliant idea. So um, I'm going to go through the process right now. And we're going to start with the bigger one. Hey! Oh, you helping a brother out? Yeah, Jolene's over there helping me. So these are the, you can see they come on like a little sheet here. There's eight of them in there. And um, so I'm going to peel one off. It's obviously sticky because that's how it's going to hold. And we can see this triangle pick, which I don't like these picks, you know, but I've got tons of them. We're just going to apply this to the center or where you think you want it basically and that's all there is to it so like I said this, that's the first one I put on so I just received these in the mail yesterday <laughs> wow I actually like my triangle pick now no joke guys it's just a bigger pick than I would typically use. Um, so there we go. There's that one. Um, I was going to stick one over one of the, my pre-grip picks already. Would you put one on each side? Is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to do that too. I mean, I'm just asking. Yeah. Would it make sense? Now I want to check out some really quick on the ones that I got sent by the company. Um, just so you know, that's a standard size pick. And um, they put the bigger one on there. So the small one would obviously be for a one of the little mini picks. You've seen them, the, the tiny picks. Um, I don't have a small pick in here with me, but I'm going to go ahead and, and do one of those as well. Uh, so here, those are the ones that came from the company. Um, let's try. Can I point out a cool feature? You sure can. You, you can even peek no, your head around. I'm not going to because I don't have my makeup on, but okay. I, I, wanted to, I, I wanted to see this demo. Something I thought is cool is they did them in clear. So if you have a pick that kind of has a cool image on it that you like, it's not going to blotch out your color or your um, or your picture on your pick. You could still see through it. 
Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, definitely, yeah. Trans like your Beatles it's transparent. Pick. Yeah, like your Beatles pick, you wouldn't, you could still see John Paul. Yeah, exactly, Ringo. exactly. This is a Tortex pick, which I used to, I used to play those a lot. You know, I just like I said, I have a lot of them sitting around. I'm going to run a little experiment here. Like I said, this is a first for me as well as you guys. And maybe practice with your pick first without it and note where your fingers are. Maybe yeah. mark it with a little Sharpie if you don't mind. And then place your sticky yep, so that that's you know important. where you like it. Now on this one, I don't know how well you'll be able to see that because they are transparent. But I put the big one on that side. Well, there you go. With the, the light reflecting, you can see it. And then we flip it over. I don't know. If that's, yeah, there you go. Just needs the right angle. Keeps it from sweating and slipping. And yeah. You're, you're it, the king of dropping picks. I really am. And pulling out cords and all that stuff. Yeah. So that's why I, when I started this review, I told you that I've always used those Tortex because they got the gritty, or not the Tortex, the Dunlops. Um, they've got that gritty stuff in it. Actually, that one is a uh, one I got at the Nam Show, but you it's just made like by a, Dunlop. You just like them because they have the grips, but now you can have any pick. That's you the like cool the thing. You can take the cheapy picks that are, you know, um, 10 cent picks. Find the thickness that you like and then put the lizard grip on it. Now, I put this on both sides. I, like I said, I haven't tried it yet. Um, and I like. Are you playing with security now? Oh, yeah. The pick does not budge. I don't know um, if these say, Jolene, if you want to read really quick what the material okay. is on them. Yeah, I'm going to tell you right now. Comes in standard and large sizes. Going to be applied to one or both sides of your pick for a custom feel, which is what I just did. It says super grippy, non-sticky, ultra thin. And that's the cool thing, too, that it is a thin layer of, um, like, latex, so it, it's not yeah, it's weighing thin. you down. You can also peel them off if you don't like them, um, which I don't know why you wouldn't. Who wants a pick that's, like, flopping around, you know? Yeah. But, uh... I really like them. And if a you lot. if you want to check it out, you can go to www.lizardgrips.com. Well, I'm going to talk about that in a second because we have a promo code. Very so cool. Oh, you're going to give them. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, anyways, you can take them off, and I'm peeling this off a little bit here um, to see how the stick factor is, and it's actually still good. So, say you wanted to put it on a different Reuse. pick, or you need to move it over because that one I didn't center it quite right. But everyone is different with how they hold the pick. I'm not one of those teachers that say you have to do it with the pointy part. I mean, Neil Sean, remember reading, he plays off on the side. You know, Eddie Van Halen will hold it weird. So you, it really, at the end of the day, it comes down to you're probably holding your pick right. If you're a beginner, that may be a different story because, you, you know, typically you don't want to do that. But even Eddie himself, I've seen him grab it further back when he does his, you know, the... He just has a different way of doing it. But um, I love really how they cool. market that. It says upgrade your picks, so you can, if you have cheapy picks, you know that that are you like them, but you're afraid they're gonna slide out of your hand, like you do all the time. Yeah. Now you can play with security. There you go. Now I have it on both sides, but I'm gonna tell you guys. I mean, I need to play with them more, but I don't even know that it's necessary. It is really the material that is used um, feels kind of like a it's like like a bike tube. Yeah, yeah. But even more uh, It feels like a, a, like a silicone, yeah. raised bump silicone. Yeah, exactly. These are cool. I mean, this is a brilliant idea. Mm -hmm. um, I love them. Super grippy, non-sticky, and they're ultra thin so, thin. so it doesn't really fatten your pick up to where, you know, it feels like this pick was made with that gription yeah. on it. Yeah. Man, they are really awesome. So, um... I'm going to be using these, and I'm going to be finding my, uh, you know, I'm kind of a medium to heavy millimeter on my picks, so, uh, you know, I may put one on a thin, but, you know, pretty much the company already sent me one of each thickness, but um, just to have, but on my medium to heavies, you know, like I said, I'm right in between on my millimeters, I'm going to use these, and I'm going to put them on all of them. Um, one thing I didn't do, how much time do we got? We still got time. One thing I didn't try yet, it might be totally not necessary but I'm gonna try putting one on the Dunlop nylon picks Ooh. but uh, it might be like totally unnecessary but you know if I don't like it on there I could take it off yeah they're kind of reusable they as are. long as you're putting them on a clean I put surface it on backwards no wonder it's not sticking as long as you put it on a clean surface you can take them off and re, re stick them you yeah. know as long as they're not all gummed up so you can see what I did there light reflecting off of it but where you see that is where I already had that sandpaperish type grit 
and that's you know why I always use these picks. <laughs> kind of cool, actually. I think I'm gonna put them on my on a majority, maybe half of my Dunlop picks. I like it, man. You, your thumb. You can see it moving, but it's state, you know, that it's centered on that grip, and it and it won't go anywhere, which uh, keeps it from going side to side too. So however you hold it, man, you pretty much, you know, like I said, the longer you play, the more uh, typically comfortable you are. You have a set way of picking. You add this element to it. You don't have to worry about having the 73 other picks that you haven't been playing anymore. You put the lizard grip on it. This stuff's killer. And you get 15 of the small ones and eight of the big ones. So in the in the package of large, if you play with the bigger pick, you get eight of them. If you want the smaller ones, there's 15 I'm in that I'm glad package. you pointed that out because I probably wouldn't have. Yeah, it's so cool. Yeah. These hey, are, they're made in the USA. And that's cool, too. <laughs> these are awesome, man. Good stuff. Um, thank you for sending me this packet to review. I'm a big fan, and I will support Lizard Grips without a doubt. On this card... Step in here. You can read it for yourself. 20% off Lizard Grips. Only at www.lizardgrips.com. Your promo code is RGL Mike. If you put that in, you will get a 20% discount. Now you're gonna have to go to their website and check out the prices oh, we don't and all that stuff. Huh? No, that's okay. They need to go over there and check it out for themselves. Enter the promo code at checkout screen. It expires 12-31-15. Don't wait till December to get them. I wouldn't steer you wrong. I think all of you guys are going to like these. I would be surprised if, if really anybody doesn't like what these grips do for you. If you didn't like them, would you have, what would you have said? Because um, I could tell you really do like it. But I know. You would have been like, oh. Well, I'm a nice guy, so, you know, <laughs> I, 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 I would never badmouth someone. I would just be honest. I'd maybe yeah. say it's not for me. Uh, maybe it's something I would use once in a while. But you really like them, huh? I really, really like them. I'm stoked. <laughs> cool. You know? Having the right pick, it's such a small thing when you think about a big old guitar, but having the right pick and pickups and neck, all that stuff. We don't talk about the pick a lot, but it's really super important. That's where your technique, that's where your mojo's at. Well, in both hands, really. And if you're not comfortable with your pick, it's going to show when you play. It's like me when I pick up another guitar that I haven't ever played before. I can feel it in my playing. You know, maybe the average ear is not going to notice a difference, but I can feel it. And feel is a big, big deal with guitar. And this really fixes a huge problem. Wow, I mean, and you don't have to go out and buy, um, replace the picks that you haven't been using. You buy the lizard grips, stick them on there. And like I said, you can take them off, you know, if you're running low and put it on another pick that you want. I'm assuming it'll, you know, I read They do restick, they do, as long as it's well, on a clean, clean yeah, surface. I had taken it off. And, and they don't feel it. gummy. They don't make nothing no, gummy. No, it's not gummy like, you know, some type of glue. These are brilliant. I am just totally stoked. And if you don't want them on your picks, you can always decorate them on your guitar. Oh, you can just did, stick them to your guitar. Why it all fuzzy there? Come on now. Focus. Uh-oh. It does that. Oh, it's the lighting because you open the door. Oh, that's why I always keep that door super shut. Super sorry. Here. There we go. So anyways, that's what they look like in the packaging. Um, you know, it's not like ordering 50 billion different things. It's a simple concept, it's a brilliant concept, and I think you guys should order some. Cool. So I'll uh, put in that promo code, um, let them know Mike Gross sent you, and uh, in the meantime, have fun. Yeah. These are awesome. <laughs> See you.